Maury's Minnetonka Lincoln is out here today with the new 2017 MKZ. Now what I'd like to do is show you around the exterior, the interior, and then provide you with a driving review. So now new for 2017, the first thing you have to notice is that cool new grille. Seen just the same on the new Continental as you're gonna find on the MKZ, it gives it an amazing look. Other things that are new is gonna be a few different engine options that you can bump all the way up to 400 horsepower. As well, they're gonna put a little bit more in the standard two liter. From there, most of the other changes are gonna be minor things inside, but for the most part, I mean, you still get a lot of equipment on the MKZ as standard as you'd have to pay a lot of money for, maybe if you're looking at those German sedans. Not to mention, this is also an all-wheel drive sedan. All right, so the MKZ. Start by pressing the button on the dash, which is pretty unique, but the best part about that is it frees up so much room here in the center console that, I mean, you get the cup holders, there's plenty of storage here. It's really pretty nice. Not something I'm used to, but definitely something I could easily adapt to. It's gonna give me more room down here. The phone fits in nicely, so hey, I like it. You've also got your sport mode up there in reverse as well. You select with a really nice backup camera on here, so it's all pretty good. So from there, the one thing that Lincoln kind of adds that a lot of vehicles don't as far as standard features is some of that kind of creature comfort stuff. Things you almost expect are gonna be on new cars, but they're not where you're paying more for them. But with Lincoln, you're just kind of getting some of that stuff. I mean, the leather in here is really nice. The steering wheel soft to the touch. I like the stitching that kind of goes through the door as well. And this wood that's in here looks really good. But the infotainment system, pretty easy to use. Sync 3 is now the newest one, obviously from Ford, that goes into Lincoln. And I mean, it kind of does everything right. After 20 minutes of being in the car, I had it figured out, had my phone plugged in, was playing some Bluetooth music. I mean, it's pretty good and hey, it handles well also. I mean, the, the paddles on the steering wheel, I don't know how many people actually use those, but if you are in the mood for a little bit of spirited driving, that all wheel drive just bites in and it does what it's supposed to do. Most of the time it is going to be in front wheel drive to kind of help you get the best possible fuel economy. But from there, the all wheel drive can kick in in the snow or gravel, and then you're not going to have to worry about traction. It's going to be there. From there, the center console or kind of this display also in the gauge cluster is really nice. And that, I mean, it, it's got a good look to it and then it's not over complicated. The buttons on the steering wheel could be a little funky, but once you figure it out, pretty straightforward easy to use. Left side, you can look through your fuel economy, you can go through your trip, driver assist, all those settings. And then on the other side, you have the joystick that works the middle one. So I have the speedometer up giving you the digital readout, which is really cool. And I mean, there's so much equipment in this car and this is just kind of more or less the base model. This one does have the rear heated seats as well as the heated steering wheel, which is kind of my Minnesota must package. I don't have that in my car and I wish I did because I love the heated steering wheel. From there, I mean, memory seats, and these seats are really comfortable. You can definitely spend some time here and enjoy the time you are spending here. And I mean, the thing gets up and goes too, which it's pretty impressive. And like I mentioned before, you can do a 400 horsepower model. This one's not quite there, but I mean, it, the sacrifice from that is the fuel economy where this one, you do get really pretty good fuel economy for being all wheel drive and a heavy big sedan like it is. It's not bad, nothing to complain about. So overall, I mean, if you're looking at the German sedans, if you're looking at Audi, BMW, Mercedes, you're looking for a luxury sedan. The Lincoln is certainly gonna be up there in the competition as far as those go. You're gonna get a ton of standard equipment. You're gonna get a lot of options for different packages. And I'll tell you what, the car looks good. So I would definitely get out and consider driving the Lincoln if you're gonna be looking at a nice luxury sedan. On behalf of Morty's Minnetonka Lincoln, thanks for watching. Now, if you'd like to schedule your test drive in the all new MKZ, make sure to call, click, or stop by today. Thanks again for watching and make sure you buy happy.